Our coverage of Macworld iWorld 2014 is sponsored by FeaturePoints.com, available for iOS and Android. Get paid apps for free and earn gift cards for Amazon, iTunes, Google Play, and more just for trying free apps. Download FeaturePoints using the link in the description or at FeaturePoints.com. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Dom, and we are here checking out Transporter, and they have a couple of uh, basically private cloud solutions that are, are pretty awesome. I mean, it, think of it as your own personal Dropbox service, or I don't want to bill it as that because I know it's so much more. So why don't you explain to everybody exactly what uh, Transporter and the Transporter Sync is all about? Yeah, sure. I mean, that's actually an accurate description. It, it, you know, for people that use Dropbox, this is going to look and feel a lot like Dropbox. The difference is, rather than storing your stuff in their data centers, they're going to be stored directly on these devices that we sell. So the beautiful thing about it is, A, it's private. Since it's not storing it up in the cloud, everything's stored here, it's private. But also, secondarily, there's no monthly fees. So literally, you can buy a device starting at $99 for the transporter sync. You can put multiple terabytes on the hard drive on the back, and you get all the same capabilities you get from a cloud service like Dropbox. Syncing across devices, sharing with other people, accessing remotely. We've got Mac app, we've got Windows app, we've got iOS app, we've got Android app. So whatever platform you're on, you'll be able to get to your data. The difference between these two devices is, this one actually has an internal two and a half inch laptop drive. So this one's limited to two terabytes because that's the biggest drive you can get today. Whereas this guy, the new one, the Sync, will take any external USB drive. So four terabytes today, quickly going to six terabytes. Um, products are uh, attached to your router via gigabit ethernet, so they're plenty fast for streaming HD media. And uh, yeah, you know, and basically accessing it's going to be limited to whatever bandwidth you have at home. But like I was saying earlier, that a typical, typical bandwidth uh, at home is going to be just great for it. Well, that's that's pretty amazing. So, like like he's saying, I mean, instead of throwing your data into some some warehouse in Delaware or something, you know, you you get your own personal little cloud service here, and you can hook up your own hard drive to it, and you can share your own links, and the data is completely encrypted during transfer. You know, when you're sharing the links, it's it's pretty awesome. So. This guy right here, like he was saying, you can put your own in your own hard drive inside of it, your own 2.5 inch. That one hooks up to any one you want via USB. Now, tell us where we can find these two and exactly how much they retail for. Yeah, sure. So uh, we work with some of the largest online partners, so Amazon, B and H Photo, Newegg, uh, just some a few of the partners. Uh, if you go to our website, check the pricing page; they're all listed. Uh, the Transporter Sync retails for $99. You supply the drive. This one comes in three flavors. So there's a 500 gig for 199, a one terabyte for 249, and a two terabyte for 349. Well, that is awesome. So go ahead and check it out, everybody. It's Transporter, and then we have the Transporter Sync. Get your own cloud service, basically, right in your office or bedroom, living room, wherever you keep your wireless or wired router, I guess. So thank you very much for talking to us about this. It's a very interesting product, and I look forward to checking it out in the future. Right on. All right. Hope you do. Thank you.